<laughs> I want to talk to you about about your son Sharif, right? Because as a parent, you know, we, we all got kids and stuff. My kids aren't as old, but, you know, we all wish that our kids play basketball and go, you know, be like us, do what we did and can make it to the NBA. For you to have a son that's, you know what I'm saying, as good as your son as, like, how is it to be you to, to you know what I'm saying, be able to go to games and support your son and then have him, you know, deal with what he's dealt with at such a young age, going through the, the heart surgery and now, you know, leaving UCLA and, and doing this thing. How was it for you to support that and, and to watch him go on his journey? So I tell all my kids all the time, six of them, so we don't need another basketball player. I like to have a surgeon, a businesswoman, <laughs> the next Oprah, yeah, you know, fashion line, whatever. So I don't put pressure on them to play basketball. Rule in my house is you have to have two degrees to touch some of my cheese. So I don't put pressure oh. on them. So when I was I raising, like that. so when I was raising, say that again for the people in the back. You gotta have two degree, two degrees to touch some of my cheese. So my, my, my kids better my, be listening. My wife, I don't believe in ex-wife. She's still my wife. Yeah, my wife is pretty tall, so I figured the baby was gonna be about six nine. So now I'm training Sharif and Shakir, like my favorite players at the time: Kobe, T Mac, Grant Hill. So they really guards. Yeah, I'm like we I ain't, we ain't doing no drop step, shoot. Steve Smith, I'm 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 teaching them all that, right? Yeah. And then hey, go over there with your uncle, un Uncle Quentin. He gonna teach them. Go over there with your uncle T Mac. They gonna teach them. So they got a lot of knowledge from a lot of people. Now they, but they have the guard ability, which is good because in this era, big that's guys ain't pumping anyway. So he, he, Sharif and Shakir, they they work. Yeah, I don't have to. I don't have to mess with them. I don't have to yell at them. They work. And the most important thing I said, you ain't gonna beat me. I don't want you to beat me. Yeah. Beat yourself. Yeah. Despite what they say or whatever, tell it. Don't beat me. Yeah. Because this is a true story. I had forty five one time in high school. Three quarters left. Playing against some little guys, I'm I'm supposed to be dunking. I'm not dunking. I don't want to dunk. I want to. Uh, so I lay it up, finger roll and miss. My dad walked on the court and the drill sergeant. I said, "Yo, man, he call a timeout." I call a timeout. I go outside. He said, "Yo, man, what you doing?" I said, "Man, you know I'm working on my Dr. J Magic shit." Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Smack me. <laughs> nah, ain't no Magic Dr. J. You Shaq, be Shaq. And that's when I, and. That's why every time I dunk, I try to rip the rim off because it was because I was mad at him. Like yeah. you did, yeah, though, like several did. times. So, so when I dunk, when I start dunking like that, and everybody start doing that, I was like, oh, we have something here. Boom, boom, boom. They don't like that. They don't like when I bump. Yeah. 